Monsieur le Chancelier, j'ai l'honneur de vous présenter Monsieur Louis Vachon, haut dirigeant du secteur bancaire et dévoué bénévole. Mr. Vachon was born into a family of entrepreneurs. Those Vachon cakes so many of us have enjoyed were the creation of his great-grandmother, Rose Anna. According to his sister, as a boy, Louis was a math whiz who enjoyed sitting quietly and reading encyclopedias. Despite his brains, his father never suspected he would become a leader, but like so many things, he met and exceeded the challenge. Today, after 12 years at the helm of La Banque Nationale, he is the Dean of Canadian Bank CEOs and highly respected for his candor. As he says, in life, people who make errors aren't the dangerous ones. The dangerous ones are those who don't admit their errors. His pragmatism has permeated the Banque Nationale's corporate culture. He recently made wearing a tie optional at work. A radical move in the banking world. <laughs> he prefers that his employees let their own judgment and comfort guide them. As he has said, I'm running a bank and not a nursery school. La Banque Nationale a récemment été classée parmi les 10 meilleurs employeurs du Québec. Le personnel y apprécie en effet les occasions d'apprentissage, les conditions de travail souples, et un milieu empreint de professionnalisme. Monsieur le Chancelier, au nom du Sénat et du Conseil d'administration de l'Université, j'ai le privilège et l'honneur de vous présenter Monsieur Louis Vachon, afin que vous lui décerniez un doctorat en droit honoris causa. Congratulations, Dr. Vachon. I would like to ask you to please address the convocation. Thank you. Alors, bonjour tout le monde. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President and Vice Chancellor, honored platform guests, graduating class, family and friends. Il me fait grand plaisir d'être parmi vous aujourd'hui. I am very honored to receive this recognition from John Molson School of Business. Congratulations to all students and parents. Uh, as a banker, I'm asked uh, often, what is the best investment? Is it stocks? Is it bonds? What is it the best investment? And I always give the same answer. The best investment is education. Education for your kids, education for yourself, and uh, so thank you and well done to the, uh, to the students and to the parents here today for recognizing that. So not too long ago, I was uh, sitting in your seat, uh, not wearing a tie though, back in 1983 already, uh, but I've learned a few things since then and I'll be very brief and I'll share with you some of the lessons I've learned in my last uh, 30 odd years in the business world. The first one is, and I think uh, the Chancellor was quite clear, is the need to adapt, evolve, and change. 
And I say that to my employees all the time. La seule chose que je peux vous promettre, et je sais parfaitement que je vais rencontrer ma promesse, c'est plus de changement. And we know what's driving all this, this wave of change, whether it's technology, climate, geopolitical, and even demographics. So that's going to continue. For many of you, you'll find that instead of, find, instead of uh, finding a job, you'll find yourself creating a job. And then for a good period of your time. And I hope, I know you don't want to hear this the day of your graduation, but you're going to spend a lot of time learning. And many of you will come back to school at some point. And it's extremely important. I've continued to evolve as a professional because I read a lot. And if you don't read, that's okay. There's audio books, there are videos now, there are different ways, there are conferences, you can learn from other people, but never stop learning. Don't become a 40-year-old dinosaur. <laughs> so, risk. Let's talk about risk. The biggest risk is not losing money or losing your job. It's losing one's reputation. It's okay to fail, to make mistakes, but unethical behavior is the mortal sin. Never forget that. Other lesson. Surf a wave. Ramer avec le courant. What does that mean? Find a big trend, a very big economic or social trend, and go with it. That's what I did. In 1985, the derivatives world, the financial derivatives world, was just getting started. I learned about it, and uh, that, that wave basically carried my career up to the presidency of the bank. It was also a passion, and I'll get to that point. And be aware, the derivatives trend in 1983-84, not a lot of people were talking about it. It was discussed in specialized media quite a bit, but it was not discussed in the mass media. So that's the difference between a trend and a wave and just a fad. The chancellor mentioned the other lesson, live your passion. 35, 40, 45 years of a professional career is a long time. Doing something you don't like is gonna make you very miserable for a long period of time. Do what you like. Have fun in your professional career. Live your passion. Greater professional choice may be the only advantage you have over past generations. And make sure you use that advantage. Other lesson, think global, act global. It is remarkable that in a society as diverse and multicultural as Canada, it is still, we still have very insular tendencies in the business community. The first reaction of any Canadian business going global is you're going to blow your brains out. Still today. Uh, just my own experience, when we, we expanded in emerging markets, we now have a great business in Cambodia. We went from 1,000 employees five years ago in Cambodia to 4,500. Uh, the profitability has been very good, but the initial reaction from the financial community was quite negative to our global expansion. Don't be afraid. You're extremely equipped from the point of view of education, but also culturally, to go international. That is one of the big advantages of being a Canadian. And also, it's true, the world needs more of Canada. Last lesson, build your own castle. Family, friends, and your health are the only lasting refuge you will find. It's also going to be a great protection against stress and the uncertainty of professional life. So lastly, I want to once again thank you very much to Concordia University for this great honor. Thank you again. As well, I want to thank my wife Chantal, who's here today, and my family for their support through the years. Merci pour cet honneur et bonne journée à tous. Merci. Dr. Vachon, as long as I know, have known you, you've always come to the point very quickly. And you did that today. And thank you for illuminating 
our ROI for this education. Thank you so much.